This is our second installment of the Java EE Servlet JSP tutorial. This uh, cookbook is an introduction to servlets in JSP. So this is an extension of the last tutorial. The first tutorial we built a simple listing uh, using JSP, Java EE, and servlets. Essentially we had a servlet. When you went to a URL that basically hit that servlet, that servlet would then forward to a JSP and would render a book listing for a sample bookstore. Now this is part two. It's a continuation of part one, so if you haven't done part one, you need to find part one. With this tutorial is a wiki uh, with step-by-step -step instructions and source code, a GitHub website, slide shares, and uh, YouTube and Vimeo videos. So I'm trying to put things together. So if you find the wiki, the wiki will uh, have uh, links to all the slides, all of the videos, and all of the other tutorials in the series. It is a series of cookbooks that make up a tutorial. This one really covers with working with the servlet, do get, do post, uh, JSTL, and redirection versus forwarding. Just a little bit about the tutorial. The real focus is on Java, JSP, and servlets. Uh, we don't cover HTML or Java at length, but we do have pointers in the right direction, especially in the first tutorial. In the first tutorial, we covered a lot of time on installing your Java EE6 environment, uh, how to set up Eclipse to get you up and running so that you could run everything within your IDE so you can do the debugging and whatnot uh, in the IDE. Uh, there will be later tutorials where we don't use Eclipse per se but we use Maven or the command line or uh, any combination thereof. But the first tutorial is really for people that are new to this uh, space so they could get started with uh, the Eclipse IDE. And of course they're building a model to servlet JSP application. This is the uh, application we're building, the sample application. It is a bookstore listing. You have a list of books. There's a title, a description, a price, a publication date, and if you click on the title in the table, it'll pull up a form to edit that particular book. If you click on the add book link at the top of the table, it'll pull up a form where you can add a new book to the listing. Then later tutorials will show how to do the sorting links, how to set up a JSP template, how to set up a JSP error page, how to set up JDBC, JNDI, and so on and so forth. So it's a tutorial, at least the, the first series one builds on the, the prior one and you're building a sample application. This is the outline for this cookbook. actually quite short. Where we left off in the last example, we just had a bookless servlet and a book repository. The bookless service used the book repository, which is basically a data access object to load a list of books. And then the bookless servlet delegated to a bookless JSP to render the actual book listing. Now in this particular cookbook, we're going to add a link to the book listing for editing a book. We're going to add a link so that the end user can add a new book to the listing and we're going to create the backend servlets to handle these new links. Now we are showing the examples using a classic model to MVC architecture. So here in this example, the model is the book, the book repository implementation, and the book repository interface. The view is the book form JSP and the book list JSP, and then you have some controllers the book listing servlet and the book editor servlet. In the last cookbook, we didn't have book form JSP or book editor servlet. So that's the, the things that we're going to add in this cookbook of this tutorial. So first, let's turn our attention to the book listing. We're gonna add a link to do an edit operation. When the user clicks on the title, it's going to load the book into request scope so that the JSP page can render the individual elements of the HTML form. We use the expression page context dot request dot context path slash book in the URL. If you look at line 24 here, we use this expression so that we can address the web application wherever that happens to be mapped to. You can change the, the name, the default name of a web application. So rather than hard coding it, we use this expression, essentially the current name of that URI where that web app is mapped. The slash book is mapping to our servlet. Now we're gonna create this servlet a little later in this lesson. Okay, so we have this book listing. 
The book listing has this title for this particular book, War and Peace, and this gets rendered with this piece of the book list.jsp on line 24. So this is what it looks like in the JSP, and this is what it would look like in the final HTML page that gets rendered to the browser. So if you viewed the page source, you would see something that looks like this, where Bookstore is the web app and Book is the mapping to the servlet. And we're going ahead and passing the ID as a request parameter. Now what gets rendered again is this form. So each book would have a different ID. You click on it. That's how the servlet knows. It uses this ID to look up data about that particular book. This is what actually gets rendered in the book listing JSP. If you're not familiar with HTML, TR is a new row, TD is a new column. So adding a add a book link to the book listing. At the top of the HTML table, we want to have this add book link. This add book link will also go to the servlet that's mapped with slash book. Now we're going to create that servlet. That servlet's going to be called the book editor servlet. And that's going to handle both the add and the edit. So the load the add form, load the edit form, as well as handle the post of that form back to that same servlet. It's a very common pattern with the get operation, you load the form. With the post operation, you update the form. In this case, you load the book. And on the post, you update the book. So there's our add book link at the top of our listing. So this is the JSP code, and this is what that looks like. The book editor servlet has the web servlet annotation, which correlates the servlet with the URI slash book. A URI is just part of URL. It's basically the URL minus the uh, scheme or a section of the URL. So the book editor servlet to the URI slash book. It's very common again to load a form um, from a do get method. This uh, follows the rest in HTTP principles where a get operation reads the data where a post operation modifies the data. Now the do get method uses the ID being empty to uh, know whether to load the add a book form or add the update book form. So if they're doing an edit, then the ID has to be present. If they're not doing an edit and they're doing an add, they're adding a new book, then the ID is going to be blank. So that's how it knows if it's a update operation versus an add operation. So this is what the book editor servlet looks like. For the load the form operation, we're using the do get. When the user clicked on a particular book, would go to this do get method. They would get the ID parameter. The ID parameter would not be empty, so then they would use the book repository to look up that particular book. So that loads the book, then they map that book into request scope. And this little piece of data here is to format the date for the HTML form. So we picked a particular format, month, day, year, which is a US style format, and we formatted the uh, publication date. So when the end user edits the publication date, they're editing it in this particular format. Now, once the book has been loaded, we redirect to the book form JSP. The book form JSP actually renders that page. And if that book is present, then this page will show the data for that book. So this is what that looks like. We're kind of putting the pieces together. We have the add link and the edit link. They're both mapped to slash book slash book as is our book editor servlet. So these links link to this JSP because it's this type of link that when the user clicks that, it does an HTTP get, and this is the do get method that will handle that get. After we process the do get method, it's going to forward to this book form JSP. Now in the URL of the browser, the browser is just gonna see the slash book. They'll never see book form JSP because we're doing a forward operation. So it comes in as this URL, and we're just dispatching to the JSP to actually do the rendering of that page. That's a very common model to architecture. So the servlet is the controller. The servlet talks to the model objects. In this case, it's the repository in the book, puts the model objects in a location where the view can find it, and then it delegates to the view to do the actual rendering. That's what that looks like.